Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play More. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Ugh, I got smacked. Hey, is that a Moblin Club? Please tell me that's a Moblin Club. Give it to me. Ow. Oh, you gotta be serious. He dropped it. I'm gonna go get it. After I kill him. Actually, I did think I know where to find some, so... If this is not what I think it is... Which it might not be... Moblin Club, yes it is. Sweet. Okay, I have to get rid of a good weapon. Dang it. Um... Get rid of one of those. Apparently, I can actually throw this thing like a boomerang. How interesting. Alright, now to get back up. Should be able to make it. It's not raining here. There's lots of rest areas, too. I'm sure they did that on purpose. Alrighty, let's try again. I should kind of go over this way. Seems like a smarter idea. I should be equipping my uh, climbing gear too. Probably make it a lot easier. Goodness. I can't I can't <laughs> I'm like I can't see. Come on. Oh I actually survived. That's impressive. Alright, enough of one round. I'm, I'm going to have to just go for it and eat some stamina. Dishes, I guess. Oh, man. Be lucky and just might be able to make it using my climbing gear. Nope. I slipped. Tougher. Alright. 
Let's go plan B again over this way. I know we can make it. Probably be easier if I just, uh... I don't know, fell down to the bottom and then worked my way back up? Uh, I don't know. Fell, like, to the very bottom. Should be able to make it over here. Not giving up. So it was probably a lot of tr a lot more trouble to get that club than it was worth to do this, but eh. Okay. Made it up here. Uh, will I be able to make it up here since it's raining? again here. Oh, no. Get all their stamina back. Oh, come on. Was close. Let's see if there's another way. No, this seems like my best bet. Okay, I think I got an idea. Oops. This is kind of where I wanted to go. Okay, finally! Holy smokers! What? I didn't get him. I'm surprised. Okay, well, we made it back up here, anyways. So, let us continue on! something over here. Another one of those uh, history tablet monument things. History of the Zohar, part 6. Divine Beast Varuta is told by King Jofren. Dorefen. My beast Varuto was first discovered there was one my daughter moved for her to see it. Those present that day say they saw an unusual sparkle of excitement in Mifa's normally calm eyes as she beheld Ruta. The princess spoke of the divine beast as she would a friend and was overjoyed when she was chosen to pilot Ruta. I thought nothing of it at the time, but given the events that followed, I now regret allowing this to happen. I have spent many long years consumed by guilt. My dearest wish is that her soul will know peace. I pray for it every day. Mining notes. I'll grab these. And then be on my way. Kind of curious to see if there's anything down there, though. I don't see anything from up here, though. Alrighty. Oh, 
I'll keep on pushing ahead. Actually, a pretty decent weapon. Um, get rid of that. Should eat some of that. Uh, perfect. Also, Mark, there's another uh, cooking pot here, but I need some way to light it. What kind are you? Lightning. Uh, did I need a lightning? I, I think I needed uh, uh, ice one. If I remember right. Check the log. Yeah, a nice one. Alrighty. I'm not gonna mess with you. I don't need to. I don't need a traveler sword either. Another monument. Here's the Addendum 1. King Dolphin stands his ground. 200 years after King Dolphin ascended to the throne, a stray guardian crossed upland Zorana, upland Zorana in our domain. The guardian seemed unstoppable by soldiers. Spears barely left a scratch on its metal hull. It was then that our King Dofrin, without a thought for his own safety, came out to face the Guardian himself. With supernatural strength, he lifted the Guardian and hurled it into a ravine. The impact of the fall left the Guardian in pieces, and it was never to trouble another Zora ever again. The citizens celebrated the King's valor. Uh, from then on, their trust and respect for him grew beyond compare. You can still see the scar he earned that day on his forehead, a token of his triumph. Looks like we got more uh, lightning. I want to see what's up here, though. Pretty sure there'll probably be something. Yeah, another Korok. That's the Divine Beast over there. Spewing water, that's what's making it rain. I don't see any, like, suspicious places for Koroks or anything. Um, there's a moblin down here, though. Huh. Kia! <laughs> Definitely sacrifice some life for doing that kind of stuff. close now. That's just it over there. You can probably I could probably have seen it already. Yeah, right over there. That's the Zora's domain. Um I guess I can try to get these. Don't know how successful I will be though. I 
didn't think I'd be that successful. So if you want, I think you can just paraglide down there. Another Korok. Uh, I kind of want to take the scenic route, though. Who knows what we'll find. Moblins. You can uh, attack those squirrels. If you end up getting them, though, they'll just drop acorns. Zero part seven. The hero who defeated the Lionel, as told by King Dofrin. There was a time when the people of the land were uh, threatened by the dread beast. Oh, looks like Lionel, who lived on Pluma Mountain or something, but one Hylian drove the beast back and restored peace to the domain. Zero Helm. One in this fight is north of the blank in the ruins near the blank lake. Uh, I've taken his toll on this. Okay. Um, that tells you where to find the uh, Zora Helm. Uh, it's in the lake somewhere. Let's see if I could find it, but I don't... We're, I mean, we'll be getting it eventually. But... Uh, not right now. Still need to make our way to Zoro's Domain and uh, unlock the shrine. We haven't done a shrine in a while. Also, it'd be useful to, if it stopped raining. Alrighty, let's go. We are almost there. I wonder if there's even a fairy fountain in this area. I haven't really explored those domain all that well. Statue of Mipha. Oh. Whoa. Hi, I <laughs> made it. I'm waiting for you, Link. Welcome. Behold the pride of my people, Zora's domain. Now I shall introduce you to the king. Hurry this way. Well, I'm not going to be doing that just yet. We have some. Uh, Quests to pick up and a shrine to do. It's right here. That's gonna 
be a uh, bright eyed crab. There's also a silver longsword here, which basically is a two handed weapon. See how I am on time here. Might just stop it here. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Godspeed, stay frosty. See